This is St Ives in Cornwall. I'm walking on the earliest part of the town quay, built just over 200 years ago by a former mayor called John Nill. Now what Nill turned his ingenuity into was a fortune, and he invested that fortune in an extraordinary monument, which is now the subject of a World Monuments Fund project. The Nil Monument was built on Warvus Hill, a dome of heathland rising to the highest point near St Ives, with views over the north coast and also south to Penzance, where Nil trained as a lawyer. It's exposed to heavy weather. The Atlantic drives storms and constant wind, which have over time eroded the monument's mortar. Unless we repaired it, parts could have fallen within a decade. But we also took the opportunity to bring alive its original beauty. Now often, Lucy, um, charities are seen to take care of their own turf, but what's the value of partnerships? I think it's terribly important and increasingly so to have partnerships. I mean, we know that you're a good organisation, so we will, the money that we put in will be well used. I think this is very important for partnerships. You've got to have confidence in that partnership that it will be well used um, and that it will be a, a, an in, a good for the community. Harding, who was John Neal? He was uh, a mayor and customs officer in this town for 11 years. He was mayor in 1767 and he wanted to remain in the uh, memory of St Ives people longer than is usual and that's why he built this mausoleum. He intended being buried in it but uh, changed his mind eventually and gave his body, willed his body to the surgeons in London. But he's a very erudite man and obviously loves and dives. Now tell me about the, the, the nil ceremony. Well, he, having built the mausoleum, he created a ceremony which um, money from tithes in land in North Cornwall came and were put into um, a chest which had three padlocks on it. One for the vicar, the customs officer and the mayor. And then every five years the money was taken out and seven young maidens, um, two widows, the mayor, the vicar, the customs officer, the town fiddler, um, dance round uh, the, the steeple a number of times and then ended up by singing the old 100. Ruth, the straightforward option to a building might be the repair route where you just basically fix it up and make it sound. What's the value of the investment in a conservation approach? Um, if we restored it, we would reconstruct all, all the missing bits, but then you would have nothing of the history. We would conserve rather than restore, um, because if you restore something, you don't... Um, you don't always completely, if part of it is missing, you don't completely know if, if you're doing it as it was originally. Therefore, the authenticity of it isn't, is lost. Craft skills are very important. They um, are a, a way of uh, being able to pass on quality and understanding of, of the material and, the, uh, and how they were built uh, for future generations. I think the Royal Monument Fund took the initiative on this, if I may say so. We would come up and give it a lick of paint on the railings and think we'd done sufficient, but obviously looking at what's been done, there was a lot more needed, and without the intervention of the Royal Monument Fund, I don't think that we would have found the necessary resources or the enthusiasm to bring it up like it is today.